Hi, heavy metal three gun competitor Michael Payne. Um, you know, I've been shooting the heavy division for about five years now, and that entire time I've been running a JP Enterprises LRP07. It's been a fantastic rifle. Fit, finish, uh, the, the ergonomics, the balance, uh, the accuracy, the recoil manners have all been absolutely outstanding. But as three gun competitors, we like to um, we like to tinker with our guns. And so a couple years ago, I got a wild hair and decided to spec out a custom barrel, uh, you know, for my own. And so I had a, a one-off barrel, 17-inch barrel made for my LRP07, and um, I installed it over the winter. And uh, it shot great at first, but at Rocky Mountain three gun, uh, come to find out that uh, that I had a defect in the chamber. Uh, the chamber was cut with a bad reamer. And so uh, it got into the got into the match. Had a couple stages on the first day where I uh, locked up uh, casing inside the chamber and couldn't get it out. Ended up ripping the case, uh, the, the rim of the case off, and um, uh, and took a ton of penalties. So uh, I was in dead last at the end of the first day of Rocky Mountain Three Gun, and I uh, thought my match was pretty well over. So. I went over to the JP booth and I told the guys, I said, look, this isn't your barrel. I think I have a problem with my barrel, but can you guys help me? I'm, I'm desperate. They said, absolutely no problem. Let's take a look at it. So uh, they worked, the guys on the JP booth, they, they worked their magic. They got me through the match and I ended up working my way back up to second place. So thank you to uh, John Paul and his magicians uh, that worked the booth at uh, Rocky Mountain 3 Gun. You guys are the best. So at the end of the match, John Paul came to me and said, you know, I've got this brand new 18 inch barrel, bunch of upgrades. I think you're really gonna like it. Would you be willing to go ahead and, and get one and uh, try it out in your rifle? And I said, sure. So uh, when I got home, I ordered up the barrel. It just came a couple days ago and I'm gonna be installing it uh, here uh, this weekend. So I thought while I have the rifle apart, we should go ahead and do a long-term evaluation on high wear uh, components on the rifle. So 17,000 rounds and uh, let's take a look at, uh, let's take a look at what we got. Let's take a look at the upper receiver. So the finish is held up really well. Um, and I've got a couple little dings from throwing it into dump buckets, but overall finish is great. Now I am starting to wear through the black finish right here along the uh, the side charge rail, but after 17,000 rounds, I'd say that's that's pretty, you know, that's still holding up pretty well. Likewise, down in here, I'm just starting to wear through the finish on the inside of the receiver where the bolt carrier group rides. Um, and, uh, you know, that's partially because of how well designed and machined the, the parts are in the rifle, how well the fit is, but I also use a high quality oil. I'm running a, a Lucas Extreme. Uh, outdoor, um, which is particularly well suited to the AR platform. Also, the fit to the upper and lower receiver is still nice and tight, no wiggle there, so it's holding up very nicely. The barrel. This is the original 18-inch barrel, uh, minus this is my own custom design uh, break. The accuracy of the barrel has held up very well. Uh, last time I uh, put it on paper, I was running just under one MOA, and that was at 14,000 rounds. Uh, something to note is that this is a stainless barrel and you know we're running it in three gun and I throw some pretty mad splits so the throat gets pretty hot so you want to make sure that you keep up on your throat maintenance on these barrels and if you do that then um, the barrel should last you uh, for years and years to come also I just go ahead and fine-tune the, the adjustable gas block and then I red Loctite all the screws down and then I never touch it uh, I just I just run it and they never move on me the bolt carrier group is holding up very nicely. The gas key isn't broken, hasn't come loose. The finish is holding up, the QPQ finish is holding up very well. I'm just starting to see a little bit of wear through the QPQ finish. Um, and uh, that's that's doing really nicely so that uh, that Lucas oil is really paying off for me. The bolt, uh, the bolt itself, this is the JP Enhanced Bolt. And uh, I do get a little bit of peening on the locking lugs. So about, you know, once a year I go through and just stone off the high, the high points to keep it smooth. And uh, that's good. It has the, this has the original uh, one-piece uh, gas seal. And uh, that's still sealing up uh, very nicely. And I uh, got no complaints there. This is the, uh, the heavy-duty uh, JP extractor. I've been getting, um, I've been getting about... Oh, five to seven thousand rounds out of an extractor, and about three thousand rounds out of the springs. So, uh, much improved over the original DPMS spec part. So, built carrier grip was holding up very, very well. I got no complaints. The uh, the captured buffer and spring system. This is the original spring, 
and uh, 17,000 rounds, man. And this thing's uh, this spring's still working great. JP asked me to just go ahead and run it to life and see how long it goes. So it's a little softer than it was uh, originally, but uh, it's still keeping up with me and running the rifle just fine. Original firing pin, I've uh, got no damage here, um, it's still holding up great, and uh, there's no mushrooming on the on the back of the firing pin where the hammer strikes it. I do carry a spare firing pin, but I've never had to use it. And the side charge handle. This is intended to be a high wear item so that you wear out this before you damage your uh, upper receiver. Now this is my second uh, side charge handle. Uh, the first one uh, wore these teeth off, these locking teeth off after about 3,000 rounds. So after that I started putting grease in my rail and this one is held up for 14,000 rounds now and the pawl is still nice and tight uh, even though I had to mortar a few rounds out. So I don't baby it but I'm fairly respectful and I try not to try not to beat it up too bad but it's holding up great. So uh, no complaints, the rifle's holding up awesome. I'm looking forward to putting in my new barrel and uh, running it for another five years. So stay tuned for the next video. We'll put the new barrel in, we'll get it to the range, start putting some rounds through it, see how it performs.